So a few years back, West Compton, green as can be, not a Negro, Mexican, or Jap in sight. But as you can see here, in less than a decade, the entire neighborhood is completely flipped. Red City. In fact, they had to build more housing just to accommodate all the Negroes who want to live there. So, what are you prepared to do for us? 7% interest on loans for all properties Southland Trust Realty acquires. 7 we can get four from some trust. Please don't bend us over on the interest here. Not with all the business we're about to toss your way. You guys are going to sell the houses for double what you paid and charge what? 20% on the mortgages? Wait, you're charging Negroes more than 20%? There's no way anyone can get out from under that. If your bank wasn't legally prohibited from lending the Negroes, you'd do the same. Within reason. 6%, fellas, huh? Let's get this done. The city would approve any new Southland Trust development, and East Compton wants all the original owners have sold. Not a given. Tell me my fucking business. Chicago, Baltimore, Lansing, Oakland, Seattle. Now that was foresight. Move just one black family into a decent white neighborhood, and the other homeowners will throw money at you faster than you can count it. Negroes aren't stupid. Given a choice, even they don't want to live among other Negroes. Nothing more American than people willingly paying double for something they can't afford in the first place. <laughs> what happens once they realize they have been swindled? Well, you could always ask Miss Coyster if you could borrow a sanitary napkin. <laughs> <laughs> if they make their mortgage payments, we win. If they default? We win. Well, you pray they miss their nut. Then you put those houses right back on the market. Add another markup. And by this time, it's an all-Negro neighborhood. An entire population of Negroes who can't secure traditional mortgages. Do so you need an abacus? Uncle, 6%. Oh, there you go. Well, what are we projecting? Well, Miss Koistra's our man on the ground, as it were. Yes. A good beginning. Just today. We flipped our second property within a two block radius. These families, especially Negro veterans, they are coming west in droves. Uh, I'm sorry, two families in two blocks is droves? I thought you said she was a short. These families, they are coming and they are ready to buy, sight unseen. Just the two families for now, but I think conservatively inside six months, East Compton's gonna look a lot like West Compton. Look at the map. This is our rush of 49. And we've got the monopoly. If I could just, I've been doing some research and just to say it, Negro homeowners, when they move in, property values actually go up. Right. I'm saying, instead of creating this bubble that can't be sustained, ruining neighborhoods, people's lives, what if we offer mortgage rates that were competitive? I'm not saying that we don't make a profit. Where did you find this problem? We're not communists, Helen. Jesus, the night, hey. You're here because you got drive, Koistra. More balls than any man in the Compton office. I'm, I'm just saying that in the long you run... You could be home taking care of some kids or a husband, but you found your life's calling. Don't fuck it up by succumbing to the weaker nature of your sex. If you can't flip East Compton, then get yourself a decent oh, pair 20% on the principal. It's quite standard for this kind of purchase. 